Today, I want to give you a list of my top 10 space survival films. As in films focusing on astronauts or explorers being put in dire situations in the cold, dark, empty vacuum of space. So buckle up and get ready for launch, cause here we go. To start off the list, we have High Life as number 10. High Life is fascinating to say the least. It's about a group of convicts who are used as a science experiment. They're sent out to the far reaches of space with the dangerous mission of capturing a black holes rotating energy. In this story, we mainly focus on Monty, who is raising a child named Willow, as they're trying to survive in complete isolation. Number 9 is Life. A group of scientists on board the International Space Station intercept a probe from Mars. They find extraterrestrial life and study it on the space station. And everything is fine, and happy, and perfect, and no one ever dies. Just kidding. This incredibly violent and strong organism they find starts rapidly growing in size, in one of the most claustrophobic and confined environments you could possibly think of. I'm just saying, I don't normally get spooked out by horror films, but who? This is a creepy concept. Number 8 is Europa Report. Europa Report is shot like a found footage film mixed in with documentary elements. Through cameras on board the ship and on their spacesuits, we follow a team of astronauts on their way to Jupiter's moon Europa in search of life. In this film, we witness their struggle to the moon as well as their terrifying discovery when they get there. I'm not gonna say anything more than that, you just gotta see it for yourself. Number 7 is The Martian. Oh my space potatoes, this one is so good. Botanist Mark Watney is left stranded on Mars after his crew lost him during a storm as they were evacuating off-planet. This clever and humorous sci-fi follows Watney's struggle to stay alive in a lifeless environment. He must utilize his ingenuity to grow food where nothing grows, and make contact with mission control so they'll know he's still alive. At number 6 we have Ad Astra. The world is getting hit by humanity-threatening power surges thought to be caused by the Lima Project, a project led by Clifford McBride. His son, Roy McBride, who followed in his father's footsteps of becoming an astronaut, agrees to go on a mission to travel across the solar system in order to find out what happened to his father and to put an end to these power surges. This art film of a blockbuster is chock full of well-crafted survival situations and one of the more realistic depictions of the future of space travel. Number 5 is Sunshine. In this 2007 underrated classic written by sci-fi legend Alex Garland, we follow the crew of Icarus 2 trying to deliver a payload to the center of our solar system in order to reignite the sun. Their mission takes place seven years after mysteriously losing contact with the crew of Icarus 1. This emotional roller coaster of a mission to save the world is one of my go-to sci-fi recommendations. The film does such a good job of focusing on the character drama that it subsequently makes the crew trying to survive in this dangerous environment incredibly gripping and suspenseful. Number four is Christopher Nolan's Interstellar. In this story, Earth is dying, and the town we focus on is one of many getting ravaged by massive droughts, sandstorms, and so on. Former pilot Cooper and a team of astronauts must travel through a wormhole to another solar system in order to find a planet that can sustain life. It's admirable how realistic Nolan and his crew wanted Interstellar to be. For example, they used American theoretical physicist Kip Thorne's mathematical data to simulate the gravitational lensing of a black hole, in order to depict it as how it would actually appear. The incredibly suspenseful scenarios in space being scored by Hans Zimmer made for one of the most exhilarating movie watching experiences I've ever had. It wasn't just out of this world, it was out of this solar system. Eh? Okay, moving on. Number 3 is Apollo 13, a remarkable true story about astronauts James Lovell, John Swiger, and Fred Hayes, on a mission that was supposed to be another lunar landing. This mission was aborted when a damaged coil built inside the oxygen tank caused an explosion that compromised the oxygen and electricity of the service module. This thrilling dramatization does a remarkable job of showing how mission control worked with the astronauts to get them home. At number 2, we have Ridley Scott's Alien. This genre-defining classic follows the crew of a commercial spaceship who picks up a distress signal from the moon LV-426. They run into an alien species and recklessly bring an unwelcome guest on board the ship. It almost hurts how good this film is. It was made in 1979, but still does an amazing job of creating an atmosphere that makes you feel like you're trapped on that ship with a xenomorph. Before I talk about number one, here are some films that didn't make the list, but they're definitely worth mentioning. Apollo 18, a found footage film about a secret mission to the moon. 
a mission gone horribly wrong. Helping Hand, an episode of the sci-fi anthology series Love, Death, and Robots, about an astronaut who gets hit by a piece of space debris and is knocked into orbit, drifting away from the satellite she was just repairing. Pandorum, this film takes place on a ship filled with 60,000 people on course for an Earth-like planet. Two crew members wake up early from hypersleep and uncover the terrifying truth of what happened to their ship while they were asleep. Number one is Gravity. I chose this as number one because of its execution. Gravity follows medical engineer Dr. Ryan Stone and astronaut Matt Kowalski. During Dr. Stone's first shuttle mission, her spacewalk is interrupted by a storm of space debris that destroys her ship and untethers her and Kowalski. From the moment the first wave of debris hits to the ending credits, Gravity is the actual definition of a non-stop thrill ride. There are so many heart-pounding moments. Oh, and by the way, this is directed by Alfonso Cuaron, so expect engrossing one-shotters that will leave you emotionally and physically exhausted. That concludes my list for top 10 space survival films. If you think some other space survival film should have been part of this list, please let us know in the comments. Let's get a discussion going. And if you end up watching something for the first time because of this list, come back and tell us what you thought about the film in the comments. Oh gosh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and support it by like sharing it with a friend or your colleagues or your acquaintances or your estranged friends. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next sci-fi top 10.